Hi, my name is Ika and you're watching Pixie in the Notes. Uh, today um, I would like to present you with a list of appetizing fragrances. And what I mean by appetizing, I think is going to be best described by the passage of the book that I'm recently, uh, I've been recently reading The Diary of a Nose, which is uh, Mr. Elena's, Jean-Claude Elena's diary. Um, and the, the passage reads, I know only that I want something floral, fruity and appetizing. Appetizing but not edible. Edible smells are lazy. Something appetizing is exciting. And I couldn't agree, agree more with Mr. Elena. Um, and I always thought that gourmands are fragrances that I love. Uh, but uh, it seems that uh, no, I, I don't like uh, strictly gourmandy fragrances, things that smell uh, like food. So this list will be the list of fragrances that is uh, a, a probably my favorite category of all. Fragrances that smell delicious without uh, smelling like food. So they give you the pleasure, they give you the mmm, it's delicious and they um, uh, just tickle your pleasure center in your brain um, but they don't uh, smell confectionery, they don't smell like, like they are from a pastry shop. Um, so without further ado, the first fragrance that I'm going to mention is my number one fragrance of all times and that is Cinema by Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, and I think this is like the perfect representative of this, uh, of this category of, uh, of scents. Um, delicious combination of florals, vanilla and citrus. Uh, and they are perfectly balanced, so nothing dominates here. They are blended to perfection. Um, yeah, and this is again my cat sushi. Sushi? Sushi. Stop it. <laughs> uh, so they are blended to perfection, so nothing comes to the forefront and nothing dominates. Number two fragrance that I would like to mention is Dama Bianca from Zerzhov and oh my god, this is like a perfect combination of floral and gourmand and it's neither of these. So it's neither gourmand nor, fl nor floral. Kumquat, Lily of the Valley, Lilac combined with this most fluffy cloud-like vanilla um, that smells like heaven. An ambrosia from from the gods. The third one that I would like to mention is um, the Chale the newest Chalimar Flanca, and that is a uh, filtre de parfum. Uh, and uh, here again, this is like a Chalimar for those who struggle with Chalimar. So everything that might be challenging in a Chalimar is taken away from here. So there is no rough edges, no dirt. It's very soft and polished and fluffy, uh, but uh, Chalimar DNA is still present and it's hands down my favorite uh, Chalimar Flanca to date. The next suggestion is by the House of Gallivant and this is Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn is fizzy citrus that after a while turns creamy and um, this is the most, probably one of the most optimistic, um, happy fragrances in my collection uh, and yeah, it smells yummy. Another on the list is another Guerlain and uh, this is Mon Guerlain uh, EDP, although EDT could also be on this list. So uh, these fragrances, um, again, in a perfect balance, combine um, this gourmandy, delicious vanilla with aromatic uh, lavender and florals. Uh, so it's very sophisticated, 
yet delicious, but never smells uh, like confectionery or food-like. Another on the list is Sylvain de la Corte Virgil. Um, another vanilla that is um, different and that uh, is a completely um, untypical way of approaching vanilla. So vanilla is combined with herbs, thyme, uh, clary sage, um, something extremely cozy yet refreshing. Um, it doesn't smell like anything you could eat but it's absolutely mouth-watering. Another on the list is a Navagalan, uh, and I don't own a full bottle of this fragrance, um, but I have a decant, and this is um, Abit Rouge EDT. Uh, so this is like often referred to as the masculine version of, uh, of Shalimar. And again, um, yeah, citrus, vanilla, leather and aromatics um, combined to a perfection, perfectly balanced um, and yeah, it's, it, it smells divine. Another suggestion is Volute EDT from Diptyque. Uh, and this is a fragrance that has some kind of unexplainable magic to it. Uh, so the, the main ingredient for me personally is iris and it's combined with this gorgeous tobacco, honey, spices. Uh, and I also detect some touch of vanilla here and it's absolutely divine and um, yeah, I... Uh, every time I wear it, I'm stunned. Another one from Diptyque is Eau Duel, uh, which is becoming one of, uh, is going to the top of my uh, favorite vanillas. And uh, this one is this dark, not sweet, boozy, um, spicy vanilla uh, that is, uh, that melts my brain and uh, I cannot think straight. So these are all this, all these fragrances. They are so. Um, there is something utterly exciting and um, overwhelmingly beautiful. These are all fragrances that I'm always going like. This is too good to be true. Um, yeah. So the last but certainly not least is Tom Ford Noir Au Femme uh, and this is what I call the ultimate, the most, uh, this is mature, sensual, uh, confident maturity. Um, but all those fragrances I find they are all uh, pretty unisex and they can be pulled off by both genders, by both sexes. And um, pour, uh, Noir Pour Femme is like this, the phantom plum note for me. So plums, prunes actually covered in dark bitter chocolate and sprinkled with ash. Uh, so sweet um, yet bitter um, sensual composition. Um, yeah, this is it. I hope you enjoyed my list and I'm really curious of your suggestions and of your favourite appetising yet not edible fragrances. Um, thanks for watching and see you in another video.